Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a feature you may not think still exists in Windows. Now, back in the Windows 7 days, we all used to judge each other's computer with something called the Windows Experience Index Scores. Now, that used to be under, if you would go under My Computer and System Information, you would see a score that would give, that it would give your PC and it would go off the lowest score. So, for example, if you had an amazing system but your graphics card sucked, it would go off of that score and it would give you something like a 2.7, which would be your Windows Experience score. You can see on the screen an example of this here, and it was actually a pretty cool way to kind of compare scores and taunt people about their low scores or your high scores. So you can see if I go to the computer, computer this PC, right click on it, go to properties, it does not have the Windows Index score. It used to show up right here. The display of it doesn't exist anymore, but the feature itself still exists. And to get the scores, all you need to do is head over to your PowerShell. And once you're in PowerShell, it's actually fairly simple. All you need to do is type in win sat formal, just like that. Hit enter and then it is gonna open up a command prompt and begin calculating your system score. So we're gonna go ahead and wait a minute while it does that, and when it's all done, we'll come back and check out what's going on. Now I do recommend that you don't have too much going on in the background because that anything going on may affect the score that this gives you. A few minutes later. Now once it's done, it will close out and it will save all of the data to a folder on your computer. So if we go to my Windows Explorer and go to this PC, local disk C, Windows, go down to Performance, go to WinStat, and then you can see here that there is a data score and then this is the scores that we have. Now these are all XML files. So if you don't have a way to open those, I can um, go to edit and you can see it's not very pretty. If you have Notepad++, you should be able to open this, but you can also see the data this way. So if you get slash WIM object class 132 win stat, do that and then it will give you some general layout of what your score is. So the uh, default score that would it would have given you under the My PC. So my CPU score is 9.3, which is awesome. My Direct3D score is 9.9, .9, which is the highest score you can have. This score is 8.8, .8, and I have an M.2, so that's fairly good. Graphics score is 8.9, and that actually surprises me because I have a lower-end CPU. It's the, uh, I think it's the GeForce GTX 1060, so it's about a, it's under $200. I have a video on that. If you want to check it out, go ahead and click the I up above to get some performance on that graphics card. Memory score, 9.3. I have 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz RAM, I believe. The total score is 8.8 .8 because it's going off of the disk score right there. Now, there is another command that we can put in. I'm not sure if it does. I haven't actually tried it out. Oh, yeah, it just gives you the scores itself. So I'll put all these commands down below. Like I said, you can go get the XML formats for all of these if you want to copy and paste them easier. You could also just do this. Control C, open up Notepad, Control V, and you have the scores there. So that's one way to do it. So thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I will have all these commands down below as well as a link to a article that will describe the process and it go into detail on what all of these mean and some more information to get more data that was not discussed in this video so i hope you have a great day please comment if you have any questions give this video a thumbs up it will help me out tremendously subscribe and ring that bell for future windows 10 tutorials hardware unboxings gaming content and various other tech related things this has been tech hut have a great day and goodbye